It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's going prone and X defiant. <laughs> hey guys, Nightfall here, and recently a new leak account has been getting some major traction over on Twitter, or X. I'm still refusing it to call X, by the way. It's just such a stupid name. Gotta be careful going to x.com around your parents, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this Twitter account, by the mostly ironic name, Ubisoft Hater, has been posting some rather interesting and some quite disturbing leaks about X Defiant. So to make sure this account was even legit in the first place, I went back and dug through some of their old tweets just to see if anything they claimed as a leak actually ended up coming out. And I didn't have to go back far to see that they had accurate leaks for the Rainbow Six Siege Halloween event skins. So I would say this account is fairly credible. But of course, with leaks, everything must be taken with a grain of salt. But let's talk about all of the things they've listed because it's a lot. So the first thing we have on this list is clans and clans in a video game isn't something I've seen actually work or be active since back in the Halo days. Other games have tried implementing clan tags and sections in the game for clans like Apex and Call of Duty, but it's never really felt the same. I guess in modern times, most clan related stuff for games just happens outside of the game itself in things like Discord. But next up on this list is something I am a little concerned with, Nuke Killstreak. I have really no clue what this means for sure because there's no context, but it has me worried because I never wanted this to even be in this game to begin with, but I could be open to having something like that depending on what it actually entails. If it's your normal 30 kill streak from Call of Duty, you activate the nuke and the game's over, I feel like that's something that should only be in like TDM. You cannot have that in game modes like Escort, Zone Control, Domination, Occupy so on and so forth. It would just ruin the entire experience. And yes, some of you are right now in the comments starting to type out. Hardly anyone ever gets 30 kill streaks. It's very rare. Only the top players get those. But I think part of the reason that they're rare now is because no one's really ever going for them because you don't get anything for it. And it's not even so much the end result that I'm worried about. If they bring this to the game, it brings along more camping and just makes the game sweatier overall because of it. But next up on this list is reactive camos. Now, better camos is something we've all wanted and they've been telling us that they're working on. And I think lately the skins in the game have gotten a lot better. A lot of people may not like the Sugar Rush skins, but the one for the vector with the duck that winks at you kind of shows the direction that they're moving in. Hopefully they won't be all cutesy like that though. But in my opinion, some of these skins are very cool, but using them on a weapon in game is very distracting, at least to me when using it. So I would tend to stick to more of the plain camos that just stick to having the graphics on the gun and don't have all the extra stuff attached to it or hanging off of it. The next thing on here, I'm not really sure what it is, but it says knife and pistol with a note stating basically what MW3 had. Didn't play COD, so I don't know if this is a game mode or something else entirely, but if you know, let me know in the comments. Then there's Gunfight. Now, this is a game mode I'm somewhat familiar with, and if I remember correctly, this is basically where two teams spawn in with some random loadout and you just fight it out. Seems like it would be fun, at least a lot more fun than seeing people use meta weapons and all that crap. Then we get to the one on this list that is sure to cause controversy among the X Defiant player base, the ability to go prone. Now, keep in mind, this isn't just a list of what this person wants to come to the game. This is supposedly things that the X Defiant dev team is working on. And let me go on record here and say this is going to make the game a much, much worse game overall if added. Immediately, everyone's thinking about if they add prone, people are going to be camping in tighter corners. They're going to just be laying on the ground and it's just going to be harder to spot the little rats in the crevices. But and hear me out. The New York Street Rats should be the least of your concerns if proning gets added to this game. Just think, you thought people were bunny hopping on a pogo stick all day long before? You ever been drop shotted? I promise you it's way more rage inducing than seeing somebody bunny hop. This game doesn't need the ability to go prone, just like games like Rainbow Six Siege don't need the ability to jump. End of story. But next up on this list is a massive amount of maps and game modes. It says over 20 plus game modes and close to 40 maps. Now, 
If we look at the maps, if they maintain three maps per season, with 40 maps, that's about 13 seasons from now, which is another three years worth of content as far as maps go. But remember, this game is dying. Now, 20 plus game modes, I'm not even sure I can think of 20 game modes, but let's try. Starting with the ones they already have, there's Escort, Zone Control, Hotshot, Domination, Occupy, Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, and Bomb. That's eight. Unless I missed some, let me know in the comments. Now, let's get some easy ones out of the way that will probably get added soon. You'll probably get Free For All, and if those other two that were mentioned earlier, Gunfight and Knives and Pistols, are game modes that get added at some point, there's 11 right there. Then I can think of a few more like Infected, Gun Game, maybe an 8v8 or something. That's three more putting it at 14, maybe Prop Hunt, so 15. If they truly have 20 game modes planned, I'd love to know because I'm out of ideas, so I don't know what they could be. But let me know in the comments what game mode you'd like to see added to X Defiant. And the last thing on this big old list is PvE mode, which would be like bots. And I think they have that on the roadmap already for either season three or four. Then there was another tweet with a few extra things added and more detail on some of the things we already talked about. But the one thing that caught my eye is that C4 is targeted for season four, which will be interesting to see how this changes the entire gameplay for game modes like bomb, zone control, and escort, where you can basically just pre-plant a prox mine and detonate it whenever you want. The sad thing is I already see the potential for bugs with that. And I know it's not the same kind of game, but using C4 in Rainbow Six Siege is insane. The amount of places you can pre-plant C4, I'm, I'm just thinking about how this would play out in X Defiant. You could pre-place C4 on somebody's spawn. You could pre-place C4 at somebody's spawn point in a game mode like Zone Control. And then depending on how far you can throw it is going to bring a whole new dynamic to the game. Imagine launching a C4 over a phantom shield and just blowing up their entire team or pre-placing a C4 where you know that a phantom is going to pop their Aegis Ultra and walk over it and again blow up their entire team. The possibilities are just endless. Hell, I might even be tempted to throw away the sticky grenades and pick up C4 if they come out with that. But out of all of this, probably the most divisive topic, like I said, is going to be the ability to go prone in the game. So is going prone in X Defiant something you want to see added? Let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you in the next upload. You gotta be kidding me. How the hell do I drop 48 kills in a game like this against a team like that and we still can't pull out the win? Disappointing. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, y'all are a disappointment. Your dad should have pulled out.